Hi guys, today I'm doing a review on the Byzance. After assembly, it's just going to be this yellow color. And the tracks are, be gr are going to be gray, like the missile pod right here. So I panel lined it and I painted tr the tracks and the barrels black to make it look better. I got lazy on this one, so I didn't panel line it yet. Very neat little model. Shoulder options could be the searchlight or the uh, smoke relay launchers. You also have an alternate head, which I'll show you later. Pretty neat little model. Here's where the shell casings would come out into this basket right here. I also have an alternate mode. There's the uh, battle drum, ammo drum for the minigun. Here's what it would look like fully painted. There's the alternative head and the, sh and the shoulder smoke grenade launchers. Let me show you the alternate mode. Just bend the tracks, extend them and bend them like so. And rotate. I'm kind of afraid if I do it too much, something might break because it's uh, plastic, which should be okay for now. Here's the mobile turret mode. It kind of reminds me of the Metal Gear from that one game that I for currently forgot the name of. It could be either per uh, perimeter defense or anti-aircraft. Let's transform him back and compare with some other front mission mechs. I don't really know much about this uh, mech since I haven't played uh, front mission 1 yet, but the stats looks pretty uh, decent so I'm guessing it's a pretty good unit. Here's the uh, UCS uh, Hellswab Frost and the OCU Zenith. It's more of a tank than a mech, I think. Cost me of the uh, gu uh, Gun Cannon Mark II. And here's also the M10 Booker, same scale, 172. Thanks for watching.